A brief introduction to the G20. Welcome to this video. This video will introduce the background of the G20 establishment, an international organization comprised of 19 countries and the European Union. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Chapter 1, The Background of the G20 Establishment The G20 was established in response to the Asian financial crisis in 1997. According to various international organizations such as IMF and World Bank, the financial crisis resulted in a total economic loss of around 1 trillion US dollars, leading to millions of people falling into poverty. The crisis soon spread to other emerging markets, causing global financial panic and threatening the stability of the international system. To address the financial and economic crisis in the future, the group of seven or G7 invited finance ministers and central bank governors from 20 major economies, including emerging market economies, to gather in Washington in 1998. Chapter 2, The G20 First Meeting and Structure the G20 is a group of 19 of the world's major developed and emerging economies, plus the European Union. It first met in 1999, and the first leaders' summit was held in 2008. The G20 consists of Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the European Union. The G20's membership includes developed and emerging market economies, representing two-thirds of the world's population and over 80% of the global GDP. The G20 meets annually, where world leaders discuss and coordinate pressing global issues. The G20 presidency steers the G20 agenda for one year and hosts the summit. In addition, the G20 has established several working groups and task forces to advance specific policy objectives, such as enhancing financial regulation and promoting sustainable development. Chapter 3, The G20 Contribution to the World The G20 was established in 1999 as a response to the 1997 Asian financial crisis but did not play a direct role in overcoming that crisis. However, after its establishment, the G20 has played a critical role in responding to other global crises, for example, such as to overcome the 2008 financial crisis. During the 2008 global financial crisis, the G20 took several steps to address the crisis, including coordinating macroeconomic policies, improving financial regulation, and reforming international financial institutions. The G20 leaders also committed to providing significant fiscal stimulus packages to support economic growth and prevent a deeper recession. Through its efforts, the G20 helped to stabilize the global economy and prevent a repeat of the Great Depression. Chapter 4, The G20 Challenges The G20 has also been instrumental in promoting international cooperation and addressing global issues, such as climate change, trade, and development. Emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and 5G networks are transforming the global economy and presenting new security challenges. Moreover, the G20 may need to address issues such as cybersecurity, data protection, and intellectual property rights to promote innovation while minimizing risks. In 2022, the G20 may face new geopolitical challenges related to emerging technologies, climate change, and geopolitical tensions between major powers such as regarding the conflict in Ukraine and the South China Sea. The geopolitical tensions between major powers such as the United States, China, and Russia could create new challenges for the G20 in 2022. These tensions could manifest in the form of trade disputes, military conflicts, or other geopolitical crises. Despite some challenges and criticisms, the G20 remains a vital forum for global cooperation and its role in promoting international cooperation and addressing global issues is more important than ever. We hope this video gives you a better understanding of the G20 and its role in promoting international economic cooperation and addressing global challenges. Thank you for watching.